I've said this before, I love rain. The best scenario would be a Saturday or Sunday morning when you get to sleep in, you wake up, look outside and it's raining or even better thunderstorming, then you just go right back to sleep. Or it's a day when you just don't wanna go out, you wanna stay in and play some video games or watch a movie and it's raining outside, it's such a cozy feeling. And this is also why you've got to have a stockpile of food in the house. Because you don't wanna be out driving around buying snacks and food when it's pouring outside. I mean, I love rain, but only when I'm indoors. Don't really like trekking out in the rain for things to eat. But anyway, I do want to note that I like rain in the traditional sense, as in raining water. But there have been reports from all around the world of more bizarre things falling from the sky. So here are some of the weird Weirdest. Number one, frogs. The citizens of Naflion, a city in southern Greece, were surprised one morning in May of 1981 when they awoke to find not rain, but small green frogs falling from the sky. Weighing just a few ounces each, the frogs landed everywhere, in the trees, in the streets. The Greek Meteorological Institute said that the frogs were picked up by a strong wind. It must have been a really strong wind because the species of frogs was native to uh, North Africa. Also, also, Minneapolis, Minnesota was pelted with frogs and toads in July of 1901. Here's what the news report said. When the storm was at its highest, there appeared as if descending directly from the sky a huge green mass, then followed a peculiar pattern unlike that of rain or hail. When the storm abated, the people found three inches deep and covering an area of more than four blocks, a collection of a most striking variety of frogs, so thick in some places that travel was impossible. Now see, if the frogs were raining down into France or China, then there wouldn't be really an issue because it'd just be like raining food for the locals. Number two, fish. In an otherwise clear sky in Chalachi, Alabama in 1956, a woman and her husband watched as a small dark cloud formed in the sky. When it was overhead, the cloud released its contents, which included uh, rain and, um, you know, catfish, bass, all the fish were alive. The dark cloud then turned white and dispersed. And if you think maybe fish raining from the sky could have came from maybe a local body of water, then check this next report out. In the town of Lajamanu in Australia, which sits on the edge of the Tanami Desert, hundreds of kilometers away from the nearest lake and even further from the coast, in 2010, locals reported fish falling from the sky. Not only was it raining fish, but these fish were reported to be alive when they hit the ground. That means that there was a lot of fish just, you know, swimming, you know, around in the sky. Number three, blood. In 2008, residents of the small town of La Sierra Choco, Colombia claimed that blood actually rained down on their small community. When a researcher from another town tested a sample of the substance, it was indeed verified as blood. Also in 1890, Popular Science News reported that blood rained down on Messinati Calabria in Italy. Well, bird's blood. It was speculated that the birds were somehow torn apart by violent winds, although there were no such winds at the time, and no other parts of the bird came down, just the blood. Number four, meat. On March 9, 1876, a shower of meat fell near the house of Alan Crouch, who lived near Olympian Springs, Kentucky. The meat, which measured between two and four square inches, covered a strip of ground about 100 yards in length and 50 wide. The sky was perfectly clear at the time, and she said the meat fell like large snowflakes. Now, let's say this did happen near you. Uh, let me ask you, would you actually eat the meat? I hope not, but in this case, two people did and said it tasted like uh, venison or mutton. After further medical examination by the Royal Micro Microscopical Society of Great Britain, it was determined that the meat was in fact lung tissue from either a horse or get this, a human infant. I mean, that's a pretty big difference, right? Either horse meat or baby meat. I mean, that is pretty disturbing. Can you imagine what's going through the minds of those two people who ate the meat? Hey, yeah, Jim, the meat you just ate, uh, you know, the one that you said tasted like mutton or venison? Yeah, we tested it and uh, it could be horse meat or human baby meat. <laughs> Number five, golf balls. On September 1st, 1969, golf lovers from Punta Gorda, Florida, probably thought they died and went to heaven as when they woke up and found dozens upon dozens of golf balls 
raining from the sky. Actually, that might hurt. Golf balls are pretty hard. Number six, Worms. On March 4th, 2001, at Gala Shields Academy in the UK, when a soccer class was on the field in the midst of a game, the students were suddenly pelted with dozens of earthworms that seemed to be raining from the sky. No one really had an explanation for this occurrence. One teacher at the academy thought it was a freaky weather thing, but as it turns out, it was a sunny, clear day. Witnesses also noted that the students were far away from any building, so there was no way that it could have been some practical joke. Number seven, star jelly. In 2009, a jelly ring fell in Scotland. Scientists commissioned by National Geographic carried out tests, but they have so far failed to find any DNA in it. And if you don't know, star jelly is a gelatinous substance that's found on grass and sometimes branches, and some say it deposited on Earth during meteor showers. Some say they are bird vomit. Others say they are moles. Basically, we don't really know what the stuff it really is. Number eight, corn. From about 1982 to 1986, kernels of corn have rained down on several houses in Evans, Colorado tons of it. Oddly, there were no cornfields in the area that might account for this phenomenon. There are a ton of other strange things that have fallen from the sky in addition to what I have mentioned. They include money, spiders, hermit crabs, and even cows. Yeah, like live moo cows. Also, there was a report last week, and thank you, Andrea, for telling me about this. 2,000 snow geese migrating from Mexico to their Alaskan nesting grounds were found dead in eastern Idaho. Scientists say basically they just fell from the sky. Officials believe that the deaths are consistent with avian cholera, which kills acute sufferers in as little as six hours. What I don't know is if the geese all fell out of the sky at the same time, because that would be crazy. Anyway, the typical explanations for these odd weather patterns include include tornadoes, water spouts, or strong whirlwinds. Basically, these things may pick up the animals or fish or insects from a shallow body of water or land and carry them sometimes for hundreds of miles before dropping them somewhere in your backyard. This explanation has yet to be proven though, and it can't really account for all the documented instances. Like personally, I can't imagine thousands of fish just floating around in the sky for hundreds of miles. I mean, wouldn't someone have spotted thousands of flying fish or flying worms or flying steaks. So personally, I don't really buy the water spout or tornado theory. I mean, I don't know what's causing this, but personally, I do believe that different dimensions do exist. So maybe these things are from different dimensions. I mean, for example, maybe the Bermuda Triangle is like a dimensional gate from here to another dimension. So maybe in other dimensions, there are similar kind of things that comes back to us. I mean, that'd be kind of funny, right? So we get fish and worms raining down on us. And maybe in the other dimension, what's falling from their sky is a battleship. All right, guys, let me hear your theories about what's causing these weird weather phenomena. And again, thank you so much for watching. See you later.